loves it's miss vina d coming to you all from vina team and news so this video is going to have like two parts in one a little while ago michael rapinport was on watch what happens live now you all know Andy can't stand Kenya, okay? He doesn't like Kenya, and finally he got his way, and she's no longer on the show. Respect for the Kenya. He's never done any mess like this where he's invited someone he knows hated his guest that he was bringing on. But yet, you know, he went ahead and brought Kenya on anyways. The beautiful thing about Kenya is she is just so quick on her feet, and she dragged... <laughs> Michael so bad to the point where he had no comeback but to talk about ashy feet I'm like dude that joke is old I'm sure she's heard it all her life she even clowned herself Portia said it for you to be a comedian and that's the best you could do right so anyways I posted two videos on it but in both videos I included a short clip of Kenya dragon <laughs> michael rap report and of course those videos got blocked because you know it was reported whatever the case might be so what i'm going to do i'm going to include the video as a removing the clip that led the video to get taken down in the first place so that it's not repeated so you guys can hear everything i had to say and all of that but in this section i'm going to talk about his recent appearance on wendy williams I've been getting a lot of DMs. Oh, Miss Fina, you're going to talk about it? He didn't say nothing new on Whitney Williams. He did not say anything new. He talked about her feet, and her feet was so ashy and rough. You can, it, it looks like, you know, go ahead and click the link and watch what he had to say. It was all the way in the end um, of the, in the end of the segment. That's when he started talking about Kenya, okay? I'm going to go ahead in the description below and put the exact timestamp for you to go to so you don't have to sit there and listen to his entire interview he didn't say anything that he didn't say on watch what happens live what i want people to understand is i understand the passion the anger and i'm going to get to that part real quick but i'm not trying to keep bringing up kenya Moore past but the reason why kenya Moore is so strong right you know like resilience right she's so strong the type of strength it takes, not only did your mother give you up, but she was right there at family gatherings and still rejected you. That's one of the biggest rejection you can ever face in your life. For you to overcome that, that's nothing shady women, that's nothing shady women, men, whoever can say to you. That's going to hurt or bruise your ego. And that's the reason why Kenya was so good on that show. Because she would stand there and basically she called herself the shade assassin. And assassin. All of them with her words and still come out standing tall. It didn't matter if she was ganged up on. She still came out on the other side. And that's why you have she have supporters like myself. Because she's strong. So there's nothing... Michael, Andy, or anyone could do to that was going to penetrate her soul or break her or hurt her feelings. And that's why you don't see her huffing and puffing, tweeting and going back and forth with this guy on social media because it doesn't matter to her. She's hurt worse. You know what I'm saying? And each time she's always come out on the other side doing bigger and better things. She's never allowed what people have to say to bring her down, to make her look in the mirror and say, you know what? Yeah, maybe I am worthless. No. It's like, uh-uh, I am beautiful and I am worthy to accomplish and have everything that I ever said that I would have. And that includes, you know, a husband, a child, apart from all of the other things she's accomplished business-wise. And she have all of those things. So... That's why Kenya is not wasting her time going in on Michael. Now, let's talk about Wendy. Wendy for a second. Okay. I also understand the deeper side of what happened. The deeper side is, and I'm going to make it up a race. So, let's talk about it. The deeper side is, how can another black woman allow a white man who... You know, there was this whole monkey situation. 
guys so in between this current recording i will be inserting things that i had to say in the original recording that got blocked by youtube so just in case the audio sound completely different that is why i just don't want to repeat it because it was just so like authentic and in the moment when i did it that there's no way i can mimic that passion or details and things like that so the audio is still clear but it's going to sound like i'm in a distance it's only because once a video gets blocked um youtube don't give you the option to download it as like a regular video would so i had to do a screen record so doing that screen record made my voice sound like i was in a distance but i'm basically explaining michael reason why he claimed he posted a gorilla image right after posting kenya more image and what he did was he hid behind the fact that he always posts gorillas and compare himself to a gorilla but the thing that was weird is he posted kenya more doing her makeup after dissing her and saying that she needed a whole soccer field to do her makeup and make her look good trust me i don't care how much makeup you put on someone there's no makeup that can make that beautiful woman look the way that she looks she's gorgeous okay but what he did was he posted her image and then right after posting her image his next post was of a gorilla so most people felt like he was saying this is what Kenya Moore looked like before her makeup was applied now you don't put black people and monkeys and gorilla none of that none of that in the same sentence and the problem is when he posted it he did not add no text no nothing he just posted a gorilla how ironic I immediately said Michael is going to hide behind the fact that he always posts gorillas. So he's going to say, "Oh, come on guys. I always post gorillas and that's the reason why I did that. It's not a race thing. I'm married to a black woman. And just because you're married to a black woman like I said, doesn't mean you cannot be racist, okay? So exactly what I said is exactly what he did. He hid behind the fact that you always post gorilla so i'm going to go ahead and insert that segment here and then we're going to come back and talk more about wendy williams age anybody who follows my instagram on my social media knows if you follow my instagram probably once a day or once every other day especially on my instagram stories i post pictures of monkeys gorillas or orangutans i love monkeys gorillas or orangutans i love them I consider myself a monkey, gorilla, or an orangutan. Like that albino gorilla that passed away, like that's my spirit animal. I love gorillas. Okay, so about two and a half hours later, I saw this artist. He won some contest. He, he made a sculpture of Andre the Giant. I guess for the Andre the Giant uh, uh, documentary that's come out. And I was like, oh shit, so I go to his page and I see this dope sculpture of Andre the Giant. I'm scrolling through his page. So I'm like, yo, this is dope. He did a dope sculpture of a um, a gorilla, like some angry gorilla. So I post a picture of the gorilla, and then I post a picture of Andre the Giant. I don't say anything. I didn't realize that the last post that I had made on my Instagram stories was of me on Watch What Happens Live with Kenya Moore. I'm here with Kenya, Cars. the beautiful Kenya Moore. We're going to twirl up in the house. <laughs> okay. We're going to twirl. <laughs> Hey, how you feeling so far? Uh, I feel good. I think you guys are throwing some some shade. I feel I feel bad. I feel bad. I know. Don't put it. Bring out the scepter. So the next morning, I wake up and all these motherfuckers like, why are you posting a picture of Kenya Moore and then posting a picture of a gorilla? And I'm like, oh, fuck. I knew exactly where this shit was going. I'm not gonna explain this shit to everybody on Instagram because I'm like, yo, I always post pictures of gorillas. I actually wanted to post the Andre the Giant sculpture first, but I just happened to post the gorilla picture first. And people are like, you're calling Kenya Moore a gorilla. That's basically what social media is saying the next morning. You're, you're calling Kenya Moore a gorilla. Like, that was what I was insinuating.
speculate. I'm like, these motherfuckers are out of their fucking minds. So I don't really respond. I don't really respond. Next thing you know, I see like these bullshit blogs. You know, I, I, I see stuff on Twitter. My wife's like, yo, I'm like, I see it. I know. And she's like, I know you didn't mean it. I go, I know I didn't fucking mean it. I, you know, I post gorillas all the time. I follow Doc and Tile, D-O-C-A-N-T-L-E, Baba Booey. I always post monkeys and gorillas. I consider myself a monkey and gorilla. I, it was no, like, just because it's Instagram story doesn't mean I'm telling a fucking story. It's just random posts. I post all this shit up there. Anyway, this whole thing is escalating into, you're calling Kenya Moore a gorilla. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So it comes down to, now, a lot of people on Twitter are like, Kenya Moore talk shit to you. You talk sh- shit to Kenya Moore. You, you know, why'd you say she's ashy? What kind of white man, you know, well, you got no right saying that to a black woman. And I'm like this, check this out. Check this out, Duke. Where I come from, it's called snapping. Okay? Where I come from, it's called snapping. There's no fucking rules. Kenya Moore wasn't offended. That I said she was ashy? She was mad that I said her big motherfucking Fred Flintstone Barney Rubble feet were the same color of dusty, dry, stale oatmeal. But she didn't take it personal. She wasn't like, this is a racial assault. But Twitter, Instagram, these motherfuckers said that. And the fact that I posted a picture of a gorilla two hours later, all of a sudden this becomes a racist. issue. Anyway, there you go. You know, he's had some time to rehearse his read, like, you know, Kenya said with Phaedra. <laughs> he's had some time to rehearse his read. Couldn't be fast, you know, as fast, as, you know, as quick as Kenya, that he had to resort to a recycled joke that everybody have said. Of course, there you go. He added more to his read. He couldn't even address her as Kenya in a comfortable way. He had to say this chick and then called himself before he said her name. It's almost like he's still angry. What are you angry about? You know what I'm saying? You're a grown man. What are you angry about? You came for her and you expect her. You know what I'm saying? He came for her, but he expected her to sit there and lay down and take it. Like he can hear the anger in his words. This have nothing to do with passion and oh that's just how he talks. This is his podcast. He's angry, still angry to the point where he's talking about the bottom of her feet look like oatmeal. You know, what he literally said everything, almost everything I said in my last video as it relates to the the eight part that um I went and did my research, he promotes his page and that I said that's exactly what he's gonna say. He's gonna say I, I can just, I just knew. I said he posted that video, so he's going to use that and say, oh, come on, man, I'm not that. But it was just ironic that he posted that, no explanation, no nothing to his Insta story right after an image of Kenya. But was, that's not what I meant. I'm not issuing an apology because I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm not racist. At this point, this is not Michael's first time, you know, saying some saying or doing some suspect things you know he when he talked about jenna jackson being a has-been because people were talking about the super bowl and saying that how come justin timberlake gets to go back and, and not janet and he referred to her as a has-been and twitter just shoot him up he responded to one of the comments which was a black woman talked about her wearing a weave and all of that and to basically run a hot comb through her hair. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm not here for Michael. I've never been here for him. You know what I'm saying? And all of that. So just because you have, you know, a black wife or black anything doesn't mean you can't be racist. You know, I've never reposted any of his videos or have not. I'm not here for him. He was disrespectful. He was rude. I'm just glad that Kenya held her own I just hope whatever amusement Andy got out of it, I just hope that he understands now, okay, yeah, I know I can't stand Kenya, I hate her, but that was taking it too far, that was terrible, because Kenya is strong, and bullies, when they come for you, they want to break you, they want to shut you down, Kenya is strong, and no matter what they have, they have tried, everyone have ganged up on her, social media, on the show, whatever, Kenya still read them with her legs crossed, a smile on her face, and she's still standing. Andy have tried everything, and Kenya came in there and shut Michael down and gave him the possibly best reaction I've ever seen. Uh, 
you know, Annie have on that show. Now, you would think this reaction right here where you could possibly count every single teeth in Annie's mouth would have come from Michael, who's a comedian or actor, whatever it is that he does. This reaction came from Kenya. When Kenya was going in on Michael, that's when Andy laughed like that. So what Andy intended for evil, yes, I'm mixing the Bible verse in this, <laughs> but what Andy intended for evil, you know, it ended up working in Kenya's favor, and he just thought Michael was going to come in there, read her, he was going to laugh. When Andy, <laughs> it, it turns out Kenya was the one who ended up giving him the laugh of his life. I have never seen Andy. Andy laughed like this before with any other guest where like I said you can count every teeth in his mouth and that came from Kenya Moore shutting down Michael Rappaport. Michael even reposted this image trying to change the narrative and then make it look like Andy reaction was because he was reading Kenya when when you watch the video that came from Kenya hitting him back and you know what like I said man that woman is strong and that's one of the many reasons why I support her but I hope he understands okay I need to chill because if it was anybody else it could have gotten bad in his life it could have gotten real bad so Bravo was wrong for doing that Andy was wrong for doing that but that's Michael response that but I was also just throwing both sides in okay he promote monkeys and stuff so so maybe he was just doing a promotion but to ironically put it right right after you uploaded a kenya moore video yeah that was messed up but then after hearing him still coming for kenya and being at, as disrespectful as he was you guys just heard him that is if this video stayed up because you know the audio might get recognized and it might take this video down and if they do i would just basically have to um come back and repeated in my own words you already knew <laughs> that it was going to be taken down but you did it anyway so i'm doing it again but i deleted the parts um from watch what happens live so hopefully it stays up this time Infinity. so basically that's what you have to say man uh, it's just we live in a terrible time and, and it's sad to see you know racism still going on and all of that but we have a long way to go anger is coming from how can another black woman invite a white man to come and sit on her couch so the anger is how can a black woman allow a white man to come on her couch and disrespect another black woman talking about her her skin and and ashy and all of that and sit there and laugh how is that an enjoyable conversation especially coming from a man that's where the anger is coming from and guys when i say anger i'm not talking about me i'm talking about those who are still like really passionate and angry about this you know the supporters who reached out to me the supporters who came on this video and this video had oh my gosh the views were crazy before it was taken down so this is like me adding my own little fresh twist to it so like I said hopefully this one stay up because it's a deeper issue it's deeper than just calling Kenya more ashy you know what I'm saying it is it's deeper than that so when I'm talking about anger I'm talking about just everybody who you know are still angry about this me on the other hand um, I understand the deeper side of things it's just that I don't allow people like that people like Michael or bullies or people to even mess with my spirit because that's the reaction they're looking for you know they're looking for anger they want to piss you off make you mad and then when that happens it's like yes I succeeded and you know as you can see even though it happened to Kenya all she did was laughed and since that incident you don't see Kenya on Twitter tweeting about this man. You don't see her going on interviews talking about him. Kenya did not even echo or, you know, jump on the, yes, he's racist and repost a gorilla, nothing like that. She didn't do that because he didn't face her. He went on his show the next day, his podcast, and called her every name in the book. 
I'm not gonna put it in here because it's too long but if you guys want to hear I can upload the entire segment of his podcast going in on Kenya I just this video is already long enough so I just is you know went ahead and included the important parts and left that part out but if you want to hear the whole podcast and what he had to say I went ahead and collected the I think it was like the eight minutes rent just about Kenya Moore. I can post that separately if you guys want to hear that. Just leave a comment um, below and I will go ahead. And if you don't care, you know, then I won't post it. But, you know, like I'm saying, the person who was attacked is laughing, not taking him seriously. And that's what you do. When you treat people like that, he even said it in his podcast, like Kenya was even mad. When you treat people like that, their mission wasn't accomplished that's one of the reasons why Wendy Williams can't stand Kenya and the same thing goes for Kenya haters and Andy because goodness we keep coming for this woman we keep trying to break her and yet she's rising above she's laughing bullies hate that they want to see you cry they want to see you crumble they want to see you run in the corner and break down and when that's not happening for you it pisses them off you see uh, Nene Leakes not going on Wendy Williams anymore because of what Wendy been you know doing and saying that but Wendy says some things to basically get her mad and she said I'm not doing your show anymore Wendy went as low as talking about Kenya Moore mother and guess what happened Kenya was on her show laughed it up hey Wendy whatever oh Kenya you mad at me no you're doing your job she, you know haters don't like that when you rise above like that keep it classy and just you know what you're not bothering me so that's why on my end I understand you know the anger of supporters but I'm not going to allow Michael or anyone to even get me to that level because people like that they're not even worth the reaction but I understand the reaction is deeper than Michael is bigger than Michael and we have a long way to go especially in this country like you are entertaining and supporting his behavior and it's not funny and that's where the anger is coming from you can't allow other people to disrespect us and then want to get mad when when it continues i'm going to use kim zosiak for example do you think if sheree and nini and anybody else from our community has shut kim down do you think her disrespect will have continued no the hatred that people have for kenya moore led them to make Kim Zosiak become so comfortable that think she could talk about Kenya more any type of way. And that's how come she was exposed on the reunion. Her, our own people made her feel comfortable. Kim will say some nasty things about Kenya on social media and other black women, yes, Kim, drag Kenya, drag her. Supporting Kim behavior. It wasn't until... She did the whole rush thing to Nini. That's when everybody shipped. But it was drag Kenya. She deserves it. But now Nini jumped in. And it's the whole rush situation. Then all of a sudden, oh, uh, Kim is racist. And Kim is this. Kim is. Where was that energy when she was coming for Kenya? And like I said, Nini was sitting at that same table kick, 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 with, with Kim. But Kenya marriage being fake and all of that. But the moment it became about her, oh, now Kim is, is this evil person. Nini never spoke up for Kenya, not once. And she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to fight Kenya battles. But what happened at the reunion? Who stood up for Nini? Who defended her? Who had her back and went after Kim with her? Kenya did on social media and at the reunion. Okay, so that's the difference. But anyways, he didn't say anything that we have not heard before. He called her Ashy on the show. He's calling her Ashy again. Can you have heard worse? I did remove the clip. So if you have not seen it, just type in Kenya Moore versus Michael Rappaport in YouTube and you will see her go after him on Watch What Happens Live. One of their most viewed episodes ever that's why Kenya is ratings go. You can't take that away from her. 
all right guys go ahead okay and before i end it let me just quickly say that last part about kim was just me showing an example about how when we make anyone comfortable the thing they can disrespect us or talk to us any kind of way then don't be surprised when things come out later that they're racist or they've said certain things or the way that they address us yes i understand it's a reality tv show kenya throw shade kim throw shade that's what it's about they're supposed to argue you know and sometimes yeah hurt each other with their words i get it so i'm not ignoring the part that is a reality show and kenya threw shade kim threw shade i'm just talking about the deeper message here about just allowing and the last thing i want to point out since i'm on the girls the browse of atlanta candy burst i don't care what her mom did to her how hurt she was by her mom she always checked everybody andy kenya and everyone that is still my mother and she will be respected had candy sat there and allowed those women to disrespect her mother they would have ran with it and talked about her any kind of way in the presence of candy but they knew they couldn't do that stupid mess because candy wouldn't have it because at the end of the day that is still my mother so my point is it starts at home if we want to respect then we have to share that each other we can't be killing each other tolerating certain things and then wonder why is it wrong yes wrong is wrong racism is wrong but i'm just saying it's no excuse just because it starts at home and we hurt each other that's an excuse i'm just saying that we can be the example so that other people from the outside looking in can take notes rewarding micro rapping port racist and disturbing behavior within our community you know regardless of whatever things he's done the, oh yeah i support the black community whatever the case might be rewarding his behavior is like telling him yeah continue to do it it's all good and so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end it here my vina loves i'm wishing you all an amazing day thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel we're almost at 16,000 subscribers thank you guys man i appreciate all of you and um also go ahead and go ahead and leave this video give this video a thumbs up and also turn notifications so when i do post you're aware that i post it and i will see you all in the comment session remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless